हेलो ऑल आई एम सूर्य सक्सेना असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन आई एम एस यूनिवर्सिटी कोर्सेज कैंपस गाजियाबाद टूडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट कॉमन बस सिस्टम और वी कैन से दैट कम्युनिकेशन बिटवीन रजिस्टर्स ओके सो नाउ प्रोसीड फर्दर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल क्वेश्चन इज अराइज वाई कम्युनिकेशन इज नीडेड बिटवीन रजिस्टर्स एज वी नो रजिस्टर्स आर डिजिटल कॉम्पोनेंट्स विच यूज फ्लिप फ्लॉप टू स्टोर द इंफॉर्मेशन विद इन दैट एंड आफ्टर दैट द क्वेश्चन विल बी इंक्लूडेड दैट हाउ द कम्युनिकेशन बिटवीन रजिस्टर्स इज हैपन ओके सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल टेक दैट वाई वाई क्वेश्चन ओके वाई कम्युनिकेशन बिटवीन रजिस्टर इज नीडेड एज वी नो the main objective of any program is to execute the instruction or is to execute the program or a program we can say that a program is a set of instruction so directly or indirectly uh, we uh, uh, we want that each and every instruction is to be efficiently executed within the processor or by the control unit or a cpu okay so uh, let Uh, take an example if we have on, only an uh, a uh, an instruction within us with uh, with us uh, so uh, our instruction is not only a instruction within it it captures a number of entities within it for example any instruction has the operands also and operands has their address in memory also so for storing the operands in the register we should have the data register because as we study in our early in our previous uh, flip classes that data register stores the operand and uh, these operands have their addresses in the memory so address register will store the address of that operand within it and while processing the uh, data is to be captured by temporary registers and instruction register holds the total instruction code being executed by the processor and meanwhile output registers also save the output data or the resultant data to be displayed to the user so in short we can say that there is a needed there is a need for proper communication between these all types of registers because a register cannot only take the data and uh, recites uh, in its block only no it should be communicate to another register or it should share its data or value to another register for the efficient working or the uh, for the proper or efficient execution of our instruction okay now question arises how this communication is possible or it's happen within the control unit now we can uh, the one solution is that we should have the wires from one register to another register from one register to all the basic seven registers and plus to the memory so in this uh, in this way we can uh, perform the communication between all the basic registers and the memory but it will be very complex architecture too so to avoid this complexity or to reduce the complexity we will uh, share a bus uh, we know that a bus uh, uh, has the data uh, to travel or in bus the data travel uh, so we will use a common bus why i am calling a common bus because this bus is applied to all the basic eight register and the memory so that uh, each and every register and memory can give its data as an output or share almost all registers share its output to the uh, this common bus and from this common bus also all the registers or almost all the registers and memory can take the data as an input for the further execution of the program so we can see this common bus architecture or common bus system or the in the way in the way the uh, communication exist or communication applied within the register is as follows 
we should understand this diagram. This is the common bus system. In this common bus system, we have the memory over here and we have all our basic eight registers, address registers. Address register have the link to the memory also. Then PC program counter register which holds the next instruction to be executed. DR have the operand. AC is the accumulator registers, processor register. Input register which receives the input directly. IR instruction register which hold or store the instruction being executed code. TR is a temporary register, output registers. Okay. We will apply, we applied a common clock to all the registers. Okay. Most, mostly all the registers except the input register. Okay. Because input register take the input directly. Now common clock pulse is applied to the registers. So, uh, why? Uh, because uh, by using clock pulse, we should maintain the data within the flip-flop. Okay. Now, uh, we have the bus. This is a 16-bit common bus. In this bus, we have a multiplexer over there and we have a selection line namely as S2, S1 and S0. This is the bus. This is the uh, this is the bus from where uh, to where every uh, register every register or memory can give its output in the this form and from this bus also almost all the register and memory can receive the input in this form also okay so now the question arises at which particular time which register should share or which register will share its data or value to the common bus. This will be selected by these selection lines namely S2, S1, S0. Look uh, over here that uh, the decimal number are pointed out to in against of the memory and registers. For example, this DR. DR is having 3 as a decimal value. So, whenever the selection line S2, S1, S0 will have the value in binary form for example s2 s1 s0 have value as a 0 1 1 s2 is disable s1 is enable and s0 enable so bit as per the 3 bit binary code system this is 1 2 4 okay so 2 and 1 are enabled to 2 and 1 that is s1 value and s0 is an enable so 2 plus 1 equal to 3 so whenever this combination will given uh, give by the selection line as 0 1 1 only data register is enable or capable to share its output to its common bus okay in similar way, whenever the uh, all the common lines have its value, true value, for example, enable value that is 1, 1, 1. So, uh, the maximum number which can be written from in decimal form from this binary code or selection line is 1, 1, 1 is uh, 4 plus 2 plus 1 that is 7. So, whenever uh, the selection line gives uh, its value as a 1, 1, 1, the memory unit is capable to give the output or to share its data to its common bus. Now you will understand easily why these decimal number system are, are written in against of the registers and the memory. Okay. Now uh, the question arises when uh, the uh, register takes the input from this common bus. The answer is whenever the load factor of the register is enabled that is 1 the register is capable to receive the um, receive the input or receive the data from this common bus. We have LD as a load factor, I and R as a increment and CLR is a clear to clear the state of the flip flop. Okay. Only two registers that is IR and uh, that is IR and output register have only load factor. Okay. So, uh, now the question arises when will the memory will receive or will give its data to the 
uh, to the common bus we have understand earlier that whenever the selection line give their values as 111 the memory unit gives this data to the common bus and uh, at this particular time its write function is disabled and read function is enabled in the vice versa case when memory unit takes the input from the common bus is write operation is enabled and read operation is disabled we have another register that is AC processor register namely as accumulator this register also have the arithmetical logical unit within it so this uh, register doesn't take the input from this common bus you can see over here there is an there is an absence of any arrow from this common bus but this is the only register which have a uh, maximum number of inputs as 16 bit input from this 16 bit of data registers or operand comes from over here and mathematical and logical operation can also be performed from here it's also have the alu also have the logic gates now input register is a 8 bit register which will have understand in our previous fifth classes 0 to 7 bits having the input register and the input data can directly come to the alu for the execution and also whenever we wish to perform or a user is wish to perform any uh, composite operations or any shift operation then AC is output becomes the AC input also because AC is also accumulator is also a 16 bit of registers so AC that is accumulator receives three types of inputs 16 bit inputs from the data registers 16 bit input from its own accumulator and uh, 8 bit 8 bit input from input register so uh, three inputs are come within the alu and arithmetic and logical operation are performed within it if if uh, any uh, results uh, extend to the 16 bit because accumulator can store 16 bit of results or data if any extended carry uh, will arises so it will be saved into this e flip flop that is called as extended carry flip flop and the output and the output can share from the accumulator to the common bus so in this way so in this way we can say that all basic registers all base all basic eight registers with the memory can share their own data to the common bus and from this common bus architecture or from this common bus system we can perform the execution of instruction within the computer or within the cpu or within the control unit efficiently and effectively okay I think this is more efficient and fruitful uh, session for you. Thank you. Keep learning. Thank you.